Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hardcore Fab Shop. In today's video, back to work on the build-off truck. We are gonna do some stuff here today to be able to finish up some frame modifications here on the front and get the body all mounted up and see what all we can get finished up to try to make this thing run. Probably not gonna have it running today, but we're gonna be working towards it. So before we go ahead and get into the work that we're gonna be doing today, let's go ahead and catch up everybody that's new to the channel or maybe haven't been following along with the build yet and show you how we got to this point. So yeah, that gets us to this point now where we don't have anything holding up the front core support. It's just kind of sitting here dangling above where this angle iron piece that's sticking out here, what's left of the frame. So we need to go ahead and put in some kind of a cross member to be able to mount this core support up. Now the core support on this is actually the whole grill assembly. It's just kind of all one piece. And it's made a little different than like what you guys are usually typically seeing on like a C10 where the C10 has a couple of brackets out here on the outside of the frame and a couple of rubbers. This thing has actually got one mount right here in the middle of the grill and that's it. So we definitely need some kind of cross member here to be able to uh, mount that to. And that's also gonna help kind of strengthen some of this frame back up. There's a couple of uh, rods here that are going down to that front cross member. So I wanna try to take and reincorporate these back into this cross member to help strengthen it up as well. I think I'm going to end up going ahead and plating some of this stuff in through here to help strengthen the end of it up and then we'll probably end up cutting a plate out to come over here off the side and come out here a little ways past all of this to be able to give us a place to mount a front bumper and to have something that's also going to stiffen up the frame out here as well. So we're going to throw another 100 pounds of steel at this thing and it ought to be pretty solid to that point. And I'd be able to mount this thing up at that time. I took some measurements and uh, I had to go over to the other shop to cut this stuff all out and I didn't get video for you guys over there, I apologize. But uh, pretty simple stuff that I've done a lot of times so you guys have probably seen it before. But ended up with a cross member to this piece of square tubing. This is three by three. Cut it to the length and then uh, decided to go ahead and slot it and make it to where it would go onto the chassis, kind of like this hopefully. Now, if that happens to be in the right spot, and I don't know yet until we let this down and double check and make sure our bolts go in, we should be good. We should be able to weld that up right there. So we'll have to double check that here in a second and see. And then on the sides here, I made some other plates. And by the way, this ended up only being probably about 50 pounds or so. They're adding onto the front, not 100, like I said earlier. So there is that. But So for these plates to go on the side here, let's see. I ended up using tread plate because it's what I had just laying around and we're still trying to do this thing on the cheap. So little bits of pieces here and there that was basically just scrap and drops off other stuff is what I'm able to use. So this is gonna go on here on the side like this. Let's see how that fits. It's uh, not horrible. 
I do have it a little bit too close to the sway bar down there. I don't like that. And probably end up having to trim a little off this side over here because I want to leave enough room to be able to get a good weld in there beside where that other belt crank thing is on there on the frame. So don't have an, I got enough at the top, but I don't have enough at the bottom. So a little finesse work there. We'll get that and that'll be good. And the other side. This side has a lot more room than the other side because the steering box doesn't take up as much space as the other deal does. So I'll be good on this side for sure. So that's awesome. And that'll, that'll hang out here past the end of the frame enough to where when it's all said and done, we'll have plenty to attach our new bumper to or our old bumper to or a bumper to something. And that'll still give us some room to go in here and put some gussets in it or whatever we need to do to make the bumper even a little bit more secure than just being hanging out there on some 316th plate. So that's all good there. Also cut out just a couple little scraps here of some plate steel that we can come in here and kind of go like this. I need to put it in the vise and put a little bend in it or something, but come in there and tie into this square tubing as well. And that'll kind of gusset that all up and box that in a little bit too. They also still have the uh, two little struts that went down there to that main cross member for the suspension. So we can take those, put those back on and kind of bend and tweak those around a little bit make them come up here and attach this cross member and that will tie this all back together and make it even stronger so i'm liking the direction that's going i think that's going to work pretty good i think now at this point i can probably go ahead and just turn connor loose and let him knock this out i'm gonna take care of some other stuff and then we'll come back to where he's got this done we'll uh, push this thing back a little bit and we'll start figuring out what we got to do for our steering and our brakes to uh be able to make that work.
Okay, well, he's got the crud. He sounds awful, so I decided I would do the talking. Because. <laughs> Why don't you handle it? Yeah, I've been trying to stay away from him because I don't need what he's got. He's really been fighting with it. I apologize for you guys for anything that he's tried to go through on this one. I don't know. I haven't seen the video yet, <laughs> but uh, he sounds awful, and it's it's been days. It's kind of short because of all this. And all that, yeah. Hopefully, I'll get feeling better. But in the meantime, we got some more mail. Um, this one's from our new friends, Jim and his wife, Cynthia, down in South Carolina. We've met <coughs> them at a couple events now, a couple shows. They're awesome people, and they have a beautiful dining tea that uh, puts on a great fire show. Like, I mean, showstopper fire show. It's incredible. If you haven't had an opportunity to see it, if you hear that he's going to be there, go check it out. It's a diamond tea record truck. And We've got a video of it on the Yeah, show. well, here. Here we go. Holy shit. Hey. Okay, not far enough away. I didn't get any of that. Do it again. <laughs> Yeah.